Hey everybody, it's Tuba Player Negative AE, and welcome to the first episode of Fagante Challenger series. Um, so before we get started here, this is just the series that I've wanted to do for a long time, and it was suggested the other day, so I thought now is the perfect time to kind of get another kind of Fagante series going. Um, so there's going to be double the Vagante. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet, because <clears throat> Vagante can be stressful sometimes, especially when nothing's going well for you or you're on tilt. <clears throat> But this is just something that I wanted to do to challenge myself. So if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to do uh, for future challenges, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Um, I'm awful at the game. I don't want to brag that I'm like anything anything better than awful. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I will take any challenge. I will attempt to do any challenge. So this challenge, if you haven't already guessed what this challenge is, it's the bow only challenge. Now we tried this before. This is something that we had, um, uh, someone, someone suggested it. Mr. Zarhe or something like that? Mr. Z, I'm gonna call him? Um, he's the first one to suggest it. We tried it on channel one time, uh, just to see if it would work out. And we came to the conclusion that, um, although very strong if you get what you need, it's just, it's really hard to, um, get the amount of arrows that you need, especially early game. And if you don't get the levels that you need early game, uh, you're not ready for the late game. Uh, so you kind of have to be almost lucky in a way that you need to get enough arrows. Watch this. What is this? Can someone explain to me that? It's a glitch, right? Slimes just aren't impenetrable to, to boulders, right? I think it happens again on another enemy later. This is post-commentary. Um, I plan on doing a lot of these challenger series on post-commentary because that way I'm able to pick the best run the out of the the because I'm gonna do this challenge over and over again this was actually done on my first try <clears throat> um, I didn't really have to like restart to try and find arrows I got really lucky this this game mode or game type I guess um, but yeah uh, we have 23 arrows and I'm looking to, to, to at least level up on every level um, so if I'm not if I'm not ready to level up and my bar's not ready, I'll, I'll stay and like defeat a few more enemies or um, defeat the boss every time. <clears throat> this level I think goes uh, well. I don't remember losing anything or losing it, losing too much health on this level. We are up against Goblin or Goblin Boss. I like to call him. I don't know if that's his actual name. I think that's his actual name, right? Goblin Boss. Someone check the wiki and tell me if his name is actually Goblin Boss. Um, but I'm keeping a very close eye on my arrows. I'm trying to keep them, trying to open every single box because boxes always have that chance to contain arrows. Um, Goblin's doing us a big favor and staying in this fairly flat area, uh, which is really good for us, uh, being an archer. Of course, I went rogue this time. I don't know if you should, you could go any other class. Uh, to do this challenge, the bow challenge, because no other class does it. I think that's an invisible wall, right? I don't know. I'm just, I'm focused on getting that chest over there. I also want to find some good bows. Um, that's uh, Dexterity, Intelligence, Lightning Resist. Uh, I think I keep that for a decent amount of time. Uh, you just, you just got to conserve your arrows, especially early game. Like right now, we, we only have 15. So if we fight Dragon on the next floor, we'll be good. If we fight Worm Boss on the next floor, it might be a little bit tough for us. Um, and that's kind of like what's going through my head right now is like, should I even defeat these enemies over here or should I go over here? Uh, or should I just go through the exit? Uh, and I think after I get this chest, I'm pretty much done with this level. We did get a short bow though. We're looking for a good bow. I feel like... Um, that bow is okay, but we're really looking for something like um, shocking, burning, maybe homing arrows would be good. Um, I think early on we find an improved archery. I don't know if we found it already, but early on we find like an improved archery and that helps us out throughout most of our, our things. Uh, I find two guys here, but I don't feel like I should waste my arrows on them seeing as I only have 14 to take out the next boss. Uh, I want to save as many arrows as I possibly can. I did get the level up. Um, of course, I'm going into archery. Who wouldn't? Why would you not go into archery there? It's a... Uh, it's a thing. I wait here for a little bit. 
because I thought that there was an earthquake happening. Don't question it. Don't, uh... <laughs> Don't question it. Because my mic was, like, going, like, blah, 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 And I was like, what the fuck is my mic doing? Um, but there was no earthquake. False alarm. False alarm. I'm like, yeah, I'm in the middle of a recording. The fuck am I doing? All right, Dark Cave number two. Mm. I don't remember what boss we got on the second Dark Caves. I'm trying to conserve as many arrows as I can while also trying not to make the path too difficult. This is stupid of me. <laughs> I tried to cancel the thing by pointing it at the ceiling and firing so I can just easily pick up the arrow, but I ended up holding up and back. So my guy like jumped off the edge, and by the time I realized it, it was too late to correct, and I thought I could, and so then I fell on top of the guy and took 10 damage. Which is whatever. It's gonna happen. I can't leave behind arrows in this in this playthrough. Uh, unfortunately, that's just not some not something I can afford, especially as archery. Um, as archery. Like I said, the the problem with this is not is not getting the levels early game that you need to be good late game because late game arrows are almost arrows are not even a problem it's the it's the early game that you miss out on um, that sucks now I do make a couple mistakes in this gameplay I think that uh, while I'm playing through this um, this episode I acts I like instinctively press the melee button but I don't, th I don't think it's a ever too bad. Like, I don't think I ever, like, press it more than just once, and I'm like, oh shit. And I, I still have to waste the arrow to kill them. So, it's not too bad. It's pretty much just bow, bow only the entire time. This is weird. I do some pretty cool stuff. It, it feels pretty good when you pull off some cool bow stuff. Right? Like, you're squeezed be between two enemies, you've managed to get that bow off. It's pretty good. And it's just... It's just the ammo you have to worry about. And with the archery path, you can aim up or down, so that really um, solves any problems you would have had you not had that. Like, I can't imagine doing this challenge with anybody else. I mean, you could do it. it would, it, it'd be possible for sure. But I feel like... Um, I feel like if you want to do it to a degree of success... The archery path is really good. Although, who knows? I like I said before, I'm not the best at this game. So I could I could be completely talking out of my ass right now and not know that oh the knight actually is best for this because he can't die or something, or you could just throw yourself into situations with the knight. I don't know. <laughs> but uh yeah. Uh it's obviously a worm boss on this floor. Uh, so I'm worried here. Uh, there's a couple things that is wrong with this situation. One, I've already killed enough enemies to the point where I have less than 10 uh, digits. So in my mind, I'm kind of worried that I won't be able to take on the worm boss without a bomb from here. But there's no bomb. But I still need to buy from the shop, otherwise the shopkeeper will not produce another item next floor. So I decided to buy the lightning wand. If anything, it's something that I can give to the smithy. Um, not that I think I ever do. Uh, yeah, like, there's the mess up. I was trying to break up the, break the box, and then the slime was there, and then I was like, well, whatever. Slimes die in one hit anyway. Uh, to be fair, uh, what I'm looking to do now is just kill enough enemies to, uh, increase my bar. 13, 13 arrows is good, but I don't think it's enough to kill Worm Boss. Um, especially, yeah, especially if, if I'm going to need to hit him in the head every time, uh, that, that shit's going to suck, especially with, like, the lower, he only takes one damage from each, everything that doesn't hit him in the head. So it's going to be rough. I also want to avoid hitting any worms, uh, because I know that's going to trigger him, I don't want him chasing me while I'm trying to defeat all the enemies to level up. My bar is almost full. I found a fairy, which is really good. We got this guy. We're just going to have him die on his own. Good. He's dead. I wonder if killing him gives you experience, and then if you don't kill him, it doesn't give you experience. That's probably what it is, right? That, those fire guys. All right. So here comes that worm. We're going to just quickly dodge him, climb down the ladder, and be on our way. 
there's Warren Boss right there. Not too worried about him. Uh, right now, I think I've killed everybody on the floor, so what I'm gonna do here... Um, I'm looking. I'm looking to see if I've explored the whole floor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop Fairy off at the door, just in case. This guy's gonna have to be... Um, either that guy gets killed, or I kill some worms here. Um, Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to kill this guy. So I'm gonna try to do a backwards flip, or backwards shot, like that. It just misses, which sucks. Also trying to get his attention here. Oh, and it still sucks. It's hard to get those guys, especially when they're right on the ledge like that, and with a bow and arrow. There you go. I'm still not leveled up though, so I'm gonna need to kill some of these worms. At least one or two of them, but I want to make sure that I haven't I haven't missed anybody yet, because uh, this level is big and large, and I could have just not gone somewhere, and that would suck. So I'm gonna go check the beginning again. Oh, and I managed to find a secret wall. That's right. And lo and behold, there is a guy down there. So I'm going to try to get his attention. There's a slime also. So this is going to be a very tight battle. Luckily our archery is uh, pretty insane. Or the amount of dexterity that we have to do 13 damage is really good. Um, that and we're going down the archery path, which gives you a, a damage increase later on. So doing 13 damage now is really helpful. Um, I've, I've went ahead and taken off my melee weapon because it doesn't give me any stats. Uh, what I want to do is uh, find a melee weapon that gives me stats that I can that I can use. Um, so I saw that that worm over there, but I know if I kill one more worm, it's gonna suck for me because uh, I'm gonna have to go all the way back here. So I'm waiting for like a worm that's around this area. So that way I can kill him over here and just leave when I get it. But I do not see any worms around here, which sucks. But I do remember that there's one climbing on this L block over here, so that's why I'm headed over. There we go. But I'm not leveled up yet, that's right. So I'm not leveled up, so I gotta play this game that I didn't want to play with a uh, worm. And kill his, uh, his little baby people. In order to do that, I'm um, gonna need to bait a lot of worm missiles. But I should be able to do it right here. Yeah. So I managed to get that. I'm gonna wait for him to pop out over on that side, then I'm gonna start running over. And he's gonna try and make his way back, but I don't have a key for that chest because I'm not gonna kill him. And I'm just about to go through this door when I see that there's an invisible wall over there. <laughs> so I'm like, hold on, wait a second. Let's check this invisible wall first. I hope you guys don't mind that I use my fists for the <laughs> for the secret areas. Um, it's just kind of like instinct that I, I do that anyway. All right, cool. So we managed to get past Worm Boss. All we have left is um, all we have left is Dragon on this floor, and we managed to get the health boost from Fairy, which is nice too. Our Survivor perk isn't going to help us too much here, but we're good. We got a Vitality Jacket, which brings us to 100 Vitality, and the third level of Archery, which is plus 15% damage. So we're doing pretty well. Uh, we have a we have a good amount of damage on our bow. We don't have a very good bow yet, and we don't have a stat increasing melee item. So. I'm going to be hoping to get those as I go along. Here's the problem. Uh, going into this level, I have two arrows. Uh, because of all the arrows that I needed to kill all the little tiny worms, uh, I only have two arrows, which sucks. So this level is going to be a pain in the ass. So I can't waste my arrows on them. There's a piranha. I need to use the, the arrow to kill the piranha. It's going to keep knocking me into the water. There's two chests in this thing. 
Um, I forgot to take a breath of air. And then I come back down. I'm still at two arrows, though. Uh, I didn't waste any because I managed to get one from somewhere. Actually, don't know where. I did get the Ring of Seltiok, which is going to help me in this particular instance because I can't waste my arrows, so I have to try to avoid enemies as much as possible. Either that or trigger enemies and then get them to land in an area that I can fight them later instead of right now. I tried to use an arrow to kill that guy, but that was probably not the best decision. I probably should have used my arrow to try and kill that guy to the top. That being said, he's pretty he's fairly harmless and he dies anyway. Alright. So we can't fight any of these people. We're, br we're trying to find boxes so we can break them. We accidentally triggered um, Dragon Boss. Here's where I have a predicament. I only have 19 arrows. Which is a decent amount of arrows, but um, I would like more. 17 is good too. Can't use anything except for the bow, so not even anything um, that wise. I have 17 arrows and I decide that it's possible to fight dragon only with those 17 arrows. So I'm going to try my best. Uh, to try and um, fight only dragon. But the slime has other ideas. I managed to kill the slime, which is good. It's a very interesting dragon fight. I definitely have homing arrows already, which is uh, very good. The homing arrows is something that I got early, and I think that I would not, it would be much harder without homing arrows. Um, but I did get it early. We managed to kill Dragon, and we got, and we did it with relatively a good amount of arrows. All our arrows kind of came back to us. We have 14 arrows to finish this floor out. We don't even really need to finish the floor out because we already leveled up. We have the key. We could just go get the thing and, and leave. So, there's no real reason to stay except for the gold that the enemies drop. Um, and maybe they, maybe they drop some, uh, there we go. Also, I have piercing? Do I have piercing? Oh, yeah, because the archery path has piercing. Um, piercing helps us out a lot, too, because, uh, piercing is one, it, with, without piercing, uh, you would, you would end up having to waste more arrows than you would necessarily need to. Uh, I want to kill this guy so bad. I don't think it ever happens. This, uh... That plant guy in the ground. I tried to do the whole fake. Um, yeah, but then it does, like, shit like that, where it, like, releases my arrow. And then I decide not to worry about it. It's not that... It's not worth much of my time. But we killed dragons, so that's fine. Um, the problem going into this is that we are we're low on arrows but the forest has those little spriggan guys that always drop the arrows so that's really good um, for the long run I was equipping items but I didn't realize that there was a shackle right next to me so it was kind of stupid of me to do that in case one of them was cursed um, so I put the last item that I had in there. We're doing pretty well so far. I, I got a dexterity increasing weapon. I still want to kill this guy. Is it going to happen? Is it not? I decided to give up. There's no reason really for me to kill that guy when you think about it. Because there's no, there's no, other than gold, there's no value behind his death. Other than ease of access to that part of the level, which the only is, which only has the chest, which you know. So I haven't explored the shop yet. It's something that I wanted to do before I leave this level, just in case there's like a good bow or something. Homing arrow is going to help us out a lot there. We're going to go ahead and grab our two arrows. Um, and instantly death protection. Uh, so death protection is always an instant buy over here on the Tuba Playa channel. Uh, it's something I swear by. Like, if there's ever death protection, you always get it. There's never a reason not to get death protection. 
It saves you. It saves you from a, from one death. You know how good that is. That's that's like OP shit right there. You get two you get two death protections. You're you're done. You have a three life run. It's insane. We managed to get um. Managed to get one of our death protections there. Um, we did not get a second one, unfortunately. So we have to kind of uh, make do. And I think I might even use it stupidly. We're not going to get this thing. Hopefully, um, my thought is that that's a death protection. Uh, it's definitely not. It's Berserk Itis with minus vitality. So, I could care less about that. I think we're done here. I think after I uh, after I check out shop, I, I think I try to see if there's a chest over here. But I decided that it's ultimately not worth it. Uh, and then I uh, I head over here until I notice that there's a plant up there. So now I have to figure out a clever way to kill this plant with a bow. In fact, it's probably easier that I do. It, I did it with a bow anyway. Trying to kill this thing with a melee weapon would have been stupid. So my first instinct is I'll aim down, I'll jump up after I hit it, and then I'll jump up and away, and I'll hit it. But that didn't work. Er. Yeah. No, I aimed up and I jumped up and away, and I was like above it. If that made any sense, I don't know what I'm talking about. But we made it past the, the dark caves with only using the bow. Uh, it's honestly, with the archery path, it's crazy. You get the 30% extra damage. You get the piercing shots. Uh, you get the damage. So it's uh, really good. Especially if you got homing and improved archery. We we're really lucky to get both homing and improved archery in the dark caves. Which is pretty much going to be our entire kit for the entire game. Uh, fortunately. Alright, so this level will speed up. Uh, you're not going to hear the, the sound's going to be delayed because the sound is not sped up. Actually, you know what? I might speed it up post here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I had to speed this level up. Uh, the reason is because the golem... The, the golem on this level was a, a much more of a problem than I thought he was going to be. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, Golem is resistant to arrows, uh, so whenever you hit him with an arrow, he only takes like uh, anywhere from like 1 to 4 damage, uh, depending on how much damage you would have done with the bow. So it's, actu it's actually pretty crazy how um, this worked. So my first thought was, okay, he's resistant to arrows, so I'm not going to, I'm going to not waste my time fighting him, I'm going to kill everybody on the level, and that's how I'm going to level up. So that was my first order action. Um, he hit me through a wall there, which is kind of bullshit. I'm trying to find the regen potion. I do find it. I have two of them, so that's really good for me. I also still have my death protection, so if need be, I can fight him. But uh, I really don't want to. I managed to get that book. Uh, there's a spider in here. I kill him. And with that... I've killed literally everybody on the floor. Everybody's gone. Everybody's dead. Uh, so now I have to fight him. Uh, unless I just want to go through the level and not not do it. So I spent some time uh, going back and forth, trying to shoot him here, as you can see. I'm just going around this block. He tries to fire a block at me. I go around again. And it works like this for a while, and I get a lot of damage off. It's pretty good. The problem with this is that the... The fight takes a turn right here. Uh, he manages to get himself down in that area, and he can't get out. Uh, that, and since he can throw boulders through a one block block, so even if he's not past the block, he can still throw the boulder past the block because of that, how big his sprite is. Um, unfortunately, he can still hit you. So I had to try and get him out of there but it wasn't working. So I ended up losing more health than I should have. The last thing I want to do is waste my death protection on Golem Boss uh, because I need as much of uh, much of the death protection as I can for Catacombs. 
So I'm doing a pretty good job dodging his attacks, going back and forth, uh, trying to uh, dodge a boulder. Anytime he rolls up in a ball, I manage to kill him. And I think right around here. Blip. Right around here I kill him. Um, it was just it was just a war of attrition. We had a ton of arrows because of all the spriggans in the level. Um, so we, arrows weren't necessarily a problem. But Golem Boss really was a, uh, a weird factor. We could have just went after him immediately. But we I thought it would be a better idea if we could just kill all the enemies first since he's resistant. But then all the enemies didn't level me up. So that was like the weird thing and why this level took so long. Um... That being said, we defeated him, so that's that is good. I'm looking for one more thing that I can buy just in case there is anything. Um, I don't know how many items. I think you have to buy like two items to get him to five. So I was checking to see if I if there was any items that I wanted there, but nonetheless, that fight took a lot out of us. We're already max archery, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to dexterity because that's really the next logical thing that you can do. Uh, and then I'm gonna be on my way. And I'm gonna hope that we get either. I'm I'm hoping that we get Wisp Boss on this floor, because Vine Boss would be a pain in the ass, and I don't know quite how we would defeat him. So Saltyak is kind of making us a sniper here. Uh, we can kind of see where everybody is, so we know exactly what everybody's doing. I see that uh, Wisp Boss is up there, and I'm very lucky to have not triggered uh, Wisp Boss. Because I know Wisp Boss triggers off like fucking a pin dropping. We also got, like I said, homing arrows is, is, is my rock this run. Uh, it, it was really helpful that we did that. I accidentally killed that guy with a melee attack. Unfortunately. Uh, but, I don't know, uh, it was, it's just a, it's just instinct. Like whenever you, whenever you go for, or whenever an enemy pops up, you just instinctively hit. But I don't think that Spriggan would have been any trouble for one of my arrows anyway. And I don't think we ever go go down to like one arrow, so it wouldn't have affected my arrow count anyway. Good. That guy's dead. Um, it is Wisp Boss, so we should be good. We do have Piercing, since we are the Archery Rogue. This, uh, this challenge has proved to me that this this run is completely possible the the problem with this run is that you need to get somewhat lucky you need you, I would say that homing arrows is almost a necessity that or like an arrow with a specific ability like uh, not trajectory trajectory is probably pretty bad but uh, something like shocking or burning uh, you could get and that would work out well that's an invisible wall. I just want to kill him. There's also a spider over here. So I'm going to try to kill him too. Spiders are weird. They should be easier to fight with this, but they're just not. Whenever the spider jumps, I'm just going to blast him. Yeah. My homing arrows um, allow me to just kind of shoot upward and then hit the, hit the spider, which is really helpful in situations where I don't have enough time to aim. I kill two birds with one stone there, and there is a chest that I can get. Got a broadsword, not very helpful because we're not using melee weapons, but it could have a dexterity boost, so I'm not too unhappy about it. Managed to get that. He has more arrows. Of course, we gotta kill all the Spriggans, so we have as many arrows as we possibly can. Spriggans are possibly the best thing, I think. This spider's pretty mad, but I managed to do this crazy trick shot. Homing arrows are, <laughs> Homing arrows are funny. I don't know if, I, if it happens this level, but uh, next level. Uh, something really crazy happened, or not crazy, but something s stupid happens with the homing arrows. My uh, my goal here is to kill that vine over there, um, but it keeps targeting the golem who's closer, which I'm fine with. 
I just uh, wish it uh, wasn't. My inventory is full. I should really drop some of these melee weapons that I'm not using. That glove isn't bad, but I just have I just like the improved archery aspect of the other gloves. Improved archery is re is uh, really hard. I don't know what it does um, besides make my arrows better. But uh, I really like improved archery. It's really good. So we got another potion of identify. I'm gonna just identify all the potions that we have in our inventory. Unfortunately, we got lower intelligence as the potion. So we're not gonna be using that today. Golems are gonna be real hard to fight for us just because they're resistant to arrows. It's it sucks, but it's a thing that happens. So it's just a war of attrition, really. It's good that we're in the forest and that the Spriggan's here. They could refill our arrows at will. Wait for the arrow to come back down, grab that arrow, grab that arrow. There we go, and we're leveled up. So we don't technically have to fight anything, uh, but I think Wisp Boss is probably the easiest thing for us to fight. Um, so I don't want to necessarily give up the key and, and potions and stuff that are inside this chest. And we're at a decent health uh, standpoint um, with a death protection on, the, on our back. We're just going to use the light to heal back up to 50. And we're going to be on our way and uh, kill this wisp, hopefully. This is interesting because it it, it it seeks the closest thing to you. And since the closest things are wisps, uh, you get this kind of like weird like, oh, I hope I pierce. Uh, we unfortunately got hit with a whole lot of cheese there. Um, but we're still, li we're still alive. We haven't used our death protection yet. It's something that I'm keeping, I wanna keep for as long as possible. The one, the, the the two wisps I kill are the ones that end up doing damage to me. The two wisps I don't kill. We accidentally took one more damage than I wanted to there. Um, we could have very easily avoided using our, our death protection later on if we hadn't have taken that, that, that wisp hit. Um, but it is what it is. So I want to kill this golem, but I notice I'm hurting the deranged too. If you kill the deranged, bad shit happens. If you kill any statue, really bad shit happens. So I want to try to make this as painless as possible. My bullets are curving up, so there's no reason to worry about hitting that. I still have 71. Um, I can't be stingy with the arrows on this run. This is one of those runs that I just have to keep... I have to go after every arrow. I do notice that there's a chest down there, but I'm not going to be able to get it unless I go all the way back across the map. Which sucks. It's not something I care about too much. Uh, we still have our death protection. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the deranged for a little bit here. Um, just because my inventory is crowded. Let me know if you guys have any challenges. I, uh, I've been trying to think of some challenges that I can just do on my own. Um, if you guys have challenges, maybe I'll post like a, like the comment on screen, uh, at the beginning. So you guys know exactly what's going on or what the challenge is. So that way you guys know about it. That was actually a perfect teleport, by the way. By the, uh, Derange. Uh, because now we're closer to the chest, and now we can just get this chest. And uh, all the all the arrows that that guy had on him. So we get coins seem to heal injuries. Coins seem to heal injuries is amazing. Uh, and part of me thinks that it's probably something that I should uh, keep. Even though we're at zero health, uh, I'm hoping... I don't know if we got the chest, we have not. Even though we're at uh, zero health, I still want to uh, keep it because of how good the shit is. Coins heal you. Coins heal you is so good. 
If you pass up coins, heal you, you better have something crazy. Uh, that has strength and speed, but I really want the dexterity. The dexterity is helping us do more damage with our, our bow. Although strength does help us do a little bit more damage with our bow, dexterity is the main factor that we're, we're trying to pay attention to. Alright. So we're at, what, 21 out of 90. We went to the second level of dexterity. We didn't burn our books. That was a mistake. That was. I make a lot of mistakes this run. A lot of mistakes that could possibly that that would have definitely fixed this whole conundrum. Um, but yeah, we're in the forest. This is Vine Boss. Uh, I'm. I have 74. I have 74 arrows. So I'm thinking about um, just going to the boss, trying to defeat the boss as quickly as possible. But then again, um. And most part of me is also dreading fighting this boss uh, because I know that my arrows will heat seek his tails instead of him and that's where he does most of his damage it, or that's where you do most of your damage is on him also that's a cool little homing arrow thing that the homing arrow is still like I don't know what's going on like it didn't it hasn't hit a surface yet or like a barrier so it's just going around in a circle a circle 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 because it doesn't know what else to do uh, and it's, just, it's just infinite, infinite power. Could make electricity off that. Part of me is really considering that shocking bow and arrow. Uh, that the the shocking is really helpful, especially for something like this boss. Uh, but at the same time, it's like homing arrows. Are you gonna get Are you gonna get rid of homing arrows for shocking? And I thought about it for a long time. But it, I, I didn't. I don't think. If I did, I'm an idiot. This is weird. So so let me know if you like this challenge series. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be... Like I said, I'm not, I'm not good at anything. I'm pretty terrible, in fact, at this game. But I think it would be cool to have the community kind of suggest different challenges for me to do to keep the game fresh. Uh, it's almost like an achievement... Like an achievement hunter thing. Um, defeating game using only the bow is like one of those things that you would see like on an Xbox Live or PlayStation achievement list or Steam achievement list where you would just like like oh kill kill 80 enemies using only the sword right it sounds like an achievement that you would get that would have been cool if this was an achievement there you go, there's your next achievement, Vagante. Uh, complete a run while only killing enemies with your bow. So unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna have to go underwater to kill that guy because my arrows home in on the closest thing to me, not necessarily the most helpful thing. And there's the unfortunate death protection loss, um, which could have been easily avoided had I not missed the first arrow. That's okay though. Uh, we still have coins heal us, heal us. We have the exit right here in front of us, so in case we need to leave, we can just take off. Uh, there's no reason for us to stay. I do want to level up though, so that's a thing. It's Vine Boss, so I have a couple choices I can make. I can fight Vine Boss, or I can kill all the enemies on the floor. I don't remember which one I decide to go with. I really don't. Golem's approaching on us, and I do. I've wasted so many arrows on him now that I do want to kill him. So it's going to be uh, kind of a war of attrition again against this golem. Again, golems suck. There we go. It's a, uh, it's rough. This war, this war of attrition. You have to play with the, the things that are resistant. My goal is just to not die. I, I, I just want to try and get to the fourth world uh, with my life. That and we're getting a lot of our arrows back, which is really helpful for us. Uh, we have 97 arrows now, which is going to be good going into the catacombs. We're going to need as many arrows as we can get. That maybe even more. Uh, for the catacombs. 
We did just level up. Uh, so we could just leave if we wanted to. Uh, but I don't know. Part of me wants to just keep getting uh, all the spriggans. And getting more arrows. I want to stock up as much as possible. I accidentally attack him with my my uh, weapon. Not that it matters because he would have died in one hit anyway from the arrows. Um, but yeah. I can't open that yet. But I do... But I do think I challenge him. I think I challenge this boss. Do I defeat him? I don't remember. Alright, so here's the first attempt. We managed to do a clean 20 right off the bat. Unfortunately, that's not all his health. We fell too far down. We didn't take the ladder, which is unfortunate. I was trying to get my arrow shot ready. And we're far away. We are we are good. My arrows aren't connecting with the, the plant heads, so that's really good. And I'm going to go up here in an attempt to loop him so he goes the opposite way. There's our friendly infinite loop arrow. So I'm scared to get uh, to get uh, attacked here, but I managed to go for the risk. Now that I'm over the the place, I am ready to fire at him. But he decides to take the defensive maneuver and take the high ground, which means that I need to approach him. He can still do damage to me, and there's nothing I can do to him, unless. I go in that small confined area where his arms can grab me, which is gonna suck. It's that it's that grab that uh, is like, you know what? I'm gonna not do this. I'm leveled up. I don't need to take this risk. I have about 23 health. I'm good. Let's head over into the catacomb or catacombs and make this a successful a successful run. Any run that reaches the catacombs is a run that is okay by me. Objective for stuff um, that I want. I noticed that I've found all the other scrolls, so I know this is an enchant. So I'm going to make this bow a little bit better uh, by adding two things to it. It's it's alright. It just added a strength and intelligence. I would have liked another dexterity. Or maybe it added shocking to it. I don't know if enchant can do that, actually. But um, I would have liked something like that. But that's the best possible outcome it gave us two positives instead of like negative intelligence or something enchant scroll can fuck you sometimes there's a smithy right there I want to try to kill these these fools um, out of range of the smithy uh, killing any statues is really bad good we got the bloody out of the way I don't want to hurt the bloody, but I accidentally... I have, like, piercing arrows, so it's hard. There we go. We got the Revengeful Familiar helping us out. We managed to kill that. We should have... I should have equipped that Frost Nova. Uh, it's not necessarily the hands that kill me here. Um, though, so it's not necessarily a thing that I need to worry about. Managed to kill the zombies. My whole goal here is just to reach the fourth world. The things that kill me here are like... Like zombies do so much damage. So every time I come here, they're, they're always killing me. So I want to try to be very careful about taking any excess damage from these carcasses. Managed to kill two of them. Uh, and I'm gonna go on. That's a potion of regen, so I need it. Managed to get that. Jump away real quick. Gonna go ahead and drink that regen potion right away. Top ourselves off a little bit. I'm gonna go. I almost ran right into him there, which would have sucked. But we got him anyway. We also have coins heal us, so it's in our best interest to kill things so we get that that coins heal effect. Uh, we're at full health now, which is amazing. 
um, until that happened, which is whatever. But we are doing really well for ourselves, especially for the catacombs. Uh, we've made a couple mistakes, but we're we're doing well for ourselves. Uh, when we get to the fourth world, we'll be able to solve everything, uh, cause that cause then we just run normally anyway. Uh, so that's kind of my whole goal here. I managed to kill this guy without have without necessarily alerting the boss, which is really good too. I'm gonna wait for this guy to show up. I accidentally fire my arrow before the the guy comes up because I think the skeleton's gonna come uh, where I last came. This hand grabs me. It sucks, um, but I'm gonna try to go and try and find the door. I found the door. At this point, I have two decisions to make. Uh, I can either go through that door and just say fuck it, or I can try to level up. My brain tells me that it's okay to level up, so let's do it. I can handle this guy if anything. The one thing I did that was bad was I backed myself into a corner here. Um, the w What I wanted to do here was uh, get this chest and leave, but in the process... Um, that did not happen. <laughs> and your arrows get stopped by the skeleton dude, so it's, it's real hard. Uh, I could have, what I should have done, is I should have jumped over the skeletons and just fired at him directly. I was trying to fire through the skeletons into him because of my piercing. Uh, but it didn't end up working out too well for us. We also could have just left uh, as soon as we realized we were having trouble. But, uh, yeah. That's been the Vagante Challenger series. If you guys, like I said before in the beginning of the video, if you guys have a challenge that you'd like to see me do or you'd like to see me uh, accomplish, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll try to get better at my post commentary because I know my regular commentary is okay now, but my post commentary is probably pretty bad. Uh, let me know what I can do better, what you think I can do, and leave your comments in the section. The comments. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, you guys.